Hey, if you'd like to support the production of more MOOF University video tutorials, then please visit the support MOOF section on MOOFUniversity.com. Thanks and enjoy. If you recall from part five, we talked about palmitate synthesis and we made palmitate, which was a 16 carbon saturated fatty acid. Question is, what if we wanted a longer saturated fatty acid? Well, what we do is we would just have to lengthen palmitate. We'd have to lengthen palmitate by adding acetyl groups, which are going to be two carbons each, of course. And this would be done via the fatty acid elongation system. Oops, elongation system, abbreviated as FAES. Where are these systems located? Which cellular organelle? Well, they'd be located in the ER, the endoplasmic reticulum. There's two ERs though, right? The smooth ER and the rough ER. Which one would this happen in? Well, we're talking about fatty acid synthesis, which is lipid synthesis, so that would be in the smooth ER. The rough ER has ribosomes and it is involved in protein synthesis, right? So that's not what we're talking about here. Uh, to, this can also occur to some extent in the mitochondria as well. Okay, so how does it work? Well, let's imagine that we have palmitoyl CoA, right, which we, we made, and it's a 16 carbon um, fatty acyl CoA. And we can show the numbers here if you'd like. Uh, there's 16 carbons there. Let's say we want to lengthen it to stereal CoA, which is two carbons longer at 18 carbons. Uh, what do we need to do? Well, we need to add two, a two carbon unit, right? And that two carbon unit, that two carbon acetyl unit, is coming from malonyl CoA, just like it did from fatty acid synthesis, right? Malonyl CoA is the two carbon uh, acetyl group donor just like it is in fatty acid synthesis. And there's a condensation reaction in fatty acid synthesis where malonyl CoA comes in with the existing acyl CoA. They condense um, and off comes a carbon dioxide that, that gets rid of one carbon, right? Malonyl CoA starting with three carbons, we lose one. We effectively added two, two carbons. That's of course done in a condensation reaction. And in fatty acid synthesis, what follows the condensation reaction um, is the first reduction, and then, then it's followed by a dehydration, and then it's followed by a second reduction, and we get a, a, an acetyl, excuse me, an acyl-CoA that's just two carbons longer. And that's essentially what's happening here. So these are going to be the same reactions as, as fatty acid synthesis, but in this fatty acid elongation system, it's just different enzymes that accomplish them. And of course, these reactions, there are details that I'm omitting here because if you are familiar with these reactions from fatty acid synthesis, you should kind of know what's going on in here, where all the intermediates are and things like that. Um, I don't want to spend time talking about it here because that should be previous knowledge from that other video. So definitely watch that if you haven't already. So, but what happens here is that we're essentially just lengthening this chain. So one key difference is that we have different enzymes. Another difference is that in in this here, the acyl carrier is this coenzyme A here, right? So we have coenzyme A, right? But the acyl carrier in fatty acid synthesis was the acyl carrier protein, the ACP, on the fatty acid synthase complex, right? So that's another difference. Um, notice here, uh, just just so, so I can be clear, is that the two carbons that are added in the acetyl group are added to this end, right? To this end. Um, is where the acetyl group is at, is hence, hence the green portion here, right? Um, that's important to remember uh, for the next video, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but keep that in mind, okay? So that's how it works. So if we think about the overview of what's going on here, we can take palmitate and have a round of elongation occur to go from a 16 carbon saturated fatty acid to stearate, which is an 18 carbon saturated fatty acid, right, which is added two carbons. If we have another round of elongation, we can go from an 18 carbon saturated fatty acid to a 20 carbon saturated fatty acid in arachidate, right? And again, these numbers um, are li labeling the carbons. And this can continue, right? We can have more rounds of elongation to give us other long chain saturated fatty acids. One important thing to note, though, is that this is only going to be able to give us long-chain saturated fatty acids. Saturated fatty acids. 
what if we wanted or needed unsaturated versions of any of these fatty acids? Well, then we'd have to have a process called desaturation occur. And that's what the next video is on. Okay, so I uh, hope to see you there, and thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with anyone who you think might find it helpful. Thanks, and happy studying.